Well, now I've gone and done it. I bought three pheasants. See, I was lucky to get them. It's the end of the season. And they were five euros. It was two euros for one, and five euros for three, and they've still got the feathers on. But the wife, who's a good salesperson, got me to take the three. She said, you know, you can freeze them whole with the feathers on and then just get to them later. She said, these are the last of the season. You know? And I thought, you know, I'll regret it if I don't get them. I have the five euros on me. This way I don't have to get the Savoy cabbage. I can let the spouse be the man and do the shopping the way he likes. And, uh get the Savoy cabbage. I want to do the Scott Rea recipe I just saw on YouTube. It looks fantastic. And he says it's now his favorite. It's uh, Savoy cabbage with lardon, which is streaky bacon, and um, garlic and thyme. And it's cooked in a Dutch oven, a cocot very, very slowly in the oven after being browned on top of the stove in butter. And it has chicken stock in it. It looks fantastic. Looks really fantastic. Uh, you know, years and years ago when, I, when, when we were first married, I bought a whole pheasant and I, I hung it and I plucked it and I gutted it and I cut it up and I made a, a very complex recipe with a cream sauce where you start by adding the dark meat first at the bottom of the Dutch oven and then as time goes along you add slowly the other pieces adding the breast last because a pheasant is dry and it doesn't roast well so you have to braise it so I've got three of them and they are darned heavy. I can't believe that these three beautiful birds were only five euros. Well, I guess I'm not complaining. And I'm lucky to get them. I think it's January 19th already. Ooh, look at the line at the pole. They do wood fire pastries. And I think they're fantastic. The spouse is very picky. He doesn't really like them. Oh, wow, you can smell the butter. Oh, wow. It's, you see, you know, the way to go to the market really is either to get there very early when they first open and the vendors are cranky. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. That's when my spouse goes, as soon after they've opened. And the other good time is right very late when they're closing um, because they just want to get rid of stuff and you can get bargains and when they have closed, you might be able to glean. You know, there might be perfectly good produce that they've thrown out. And you're allowed to take that legally, although sometimes there's rather fierce competition for, for it. Hmm, <coughs> these coats are 20 euros. Look at this pretty cape. Oh, it's nice. Looks like fake fur. It's very pretty. Alright, I have to make my way home now with... Oh, this bag is heavy. I got raw milk for 50 euro cents. Half a liter. I had her empty out my bottle of water because she didn't have any more bottles. Which is good because I don't really... You know, it used to be that you would bring your own containers and they would fill them up for you. But then the health law said, no, you have to take one that has been sterilized. It can be a recycled one. That's where the Christmas trees are being collected to be recycled. And uh, 
I thought that was kind of a drag because I like taking my own container. Um, but, okay, fine. But it looks like now, you know, if, if she runs out of containers or, I don't know, maybe the law got changed again or something, I really don't know. But I had to have my own. All right. Ooh, these birds are heavy. Ooh. I took out way more money than I need. Uh, okay. Have cash around the house. See, this used to be the Church of the Seven Patrons. And it was in ruins for centuries. Centuries and centuries. And rather than knock it down because it's of archaeological and historical interest, when they built this annex to the Hotel de Ville, the city hall, they incorporated it right into the modern structure. I, I used to have some old postcards. It used to just be standing here. Standing here eerily. See what's on the touristic steely here. After the eighth century. <coughs> yeah. on December 3rd and I'm better now but uh, I'm still obviously not 100% this is where I have to renew my request for subsidized housing every year and the office moves around so some years I go look for it and they're not there anymore and I have to find out where they are and they want always new forms you know, if I don't do it on time, I lose my place. I've been on a waiting list since 2008. <clears throat> I've spent many years of my life here in limbo for one thing or another. You have to kind of get used to it. I forget what this guy's name is. Oscar Niemeyer or whatever. He just died not but a year ago. This was the Humanité building. Oof. And it's been empty for a long time. I don't know what they're going to do with it. It's beautiful. I think it should be classified a landmark. And Humanité is still here in Saint-Denis, but they're down by Port de Paris, and that's the um, French Communist Party daily newspaper. The last uh, advertisement I had to place for legal purposes, I placed with them. Je suis très solidaire avec uh, les communistes. I think they're pretty neat, but they're, you know, they're dying out, really. This is very clear. Okay. See you later.